Happy Friday! I'm teaching James a little bit about records. And we got a really nice <laughs> so cute. <laughs> James had speech a little bit ago. We had a busy day, but a good day. Teddy's snoozing. Yes. Sarah's cooking. Mm -hmm. And she has an appointment for our fertility clinic tomorrow morning. Yes. Early on a Saturday. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, on a Saturday. But we're going to get the ball rolling. So Frozen as long as everything goes prep. well mm -hmm. with all like, the blood tests and revisits, mm -hmm. well, like probably two or three weeks from now. Yeah. We have all the medicine already because we thought it was going to be. So we're, we're just ready. I need to get back to James because I'm nervous he's going to touch the record player. Before we go have an evening out in the Walt Disney World Resort, Sarah made this fire looking dinner. I don't even know. I tried to make these like <laughs> fried little thingies, little tacos, but... It's all the same ingredients, it just doesn't look as pretty. It smells good. Yeah, they're using the veggie burgers from Trader Joe's. And then Trader Joe's cauliflower rice, with all these peppers and stuff. Potatoes. James is a fan. I made a little coleslaw. Made that some black potatoes. beans. Just kind of went for it. Mm, that looks good, thanks. <laughs> Teddy's up from his nap. We're watching our recent favorite Mario Brothers. Goodness gracious. What's going on over there? Somebody I forgot to color my tattoo real quick. You colored it in? Yeah. James, he colored his face. I tried to get him as much as I could off before speech. We had speech a little bit later. Our whole night was kind of like later shift in. Um, but I think this is just what we need. The kids are just gonna play. And we're gonna get out. We're gonna see what. Oh, right, like we're like that's. We were like, should we just stay at home? We're like, no, we need to get out. Even if it's for an hour and a half, we're gonna be at Seventies Lagoon. We're building sand mounds. We're very busy. Always. Busy, busy. Teddy. Hey. I asked Sarah if we could go to Ohana. I was so full. <laughs> you said Ohana, and I was literally like, I could go for bread pudding. <laughs> well, I wasn't even thinking that. I was actually thinking secondarily. Dole Whip. I haven't had a Dole since we moved here. Well, Teddy's off to go get one. Where are you going? Teddy is a Brookhart child. He's just so sweaty right now. He's not even doing much. He's just like walking around. It's an alligator, right? We see those. And snakes. Yeah. Alligators and snakes. Gotta be careful. He's saying hi to daddy over there. What are you doing? I don't know, I think they're just walking around. Uh, hey! <laughs> hey! We've been drawing in the sand. All kinds of lines and Mickey Mouses. We lost our shoes. Well, Jamesy did. Go, go, go! Bye-bye! <laughs> Casual. Where are you going? I'm trying to get it to the boat just to do a little boat ride. It's a casual boat ride. On a Friday night. 
<laughs> now this is a Friday night. Yeah. Nice bench at the Polynesian shore. We're gonna let the big boat leave right now. We're gonna wait for a small boat to show up to go do our little loopy loop. Okay. What do you think? You like this, James? Yeah, it's a swing. <laughs> Say that means he likes it. Such a good ball. <laughs> All right, we set the goals to be home by 10, and we're thinking about doing something that will definitely make that impossible. We are just. What are they saying, Mario? We don't know when to quit. Yeah. little crazy idea is to go into Magic Kingdom for fireworks. We haven't watched fireworks in front of the castle in a while, so... We also have never seen the projections on Main Street for Happily Ever After Ooh. since its return. home before 11. That's a win. That is a win. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. This might be a shorty vlog, but it was a good for the soul sure vlog. Goody. Happy weird, weird Saturday. <laughs> Why is it so weird, Peter? Because I was, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I was supposed to run 10 miles. Did so not happen. <laughs> I went to bed without <laughs> really Sarah early. really early, which is like, something like we learned on our honeymoon from old people on 166 like you go to bed together we were always stuck with that and we didn't last night which is weird I went to bed early Sarah stayed up to edit um, James got up Teddy got up and I didn't have the right clothes to run this morning yeah um, so I didn't go run this morning so my long run is tomorrow it's supposed to be 10 miles so like it has to happen so we're just doing it tomorrow and then it was like full force, like, let's get ready. Sarah needs to get the vlog up. The kids need baths. We need to get our lives together because we need to go to the farmer's market in Winter Park. We didn't say this before, but, like, we're going to farmer's market to meet our nurse from when we did IVF. Yes. We haven't seen her. From, like, the Rita study, like, when we actually did IVF. Like, she was the one who told us that there was no more heartbeat for Sweet Pea. She was also there when we got to see Sweet Pea. Yeah. And she was there every other step of the way yeah, like so she huge... drew the circles on my backside to show peter like where to do the so, so oil, such an like, important person put just like a kind soul on this planet yeah and so we were very excited to like bring the boys introduce her to the boys mm -hmm. also see her catch up with her but then 
life Orlando happens. Orlando traffic. Orlando traffic, getting out later with kids. Um, we kind of planned it so we were going to see her at 10. Sarah's got an appointment at 1045, so there yeah. wasn't much, there wasn't a margin for error there. And then we had error. Yeah. So then we were like, okay. <laughs> We are over 2 this morning. We're over 2 this morning, so... Uh, we emailed her, our friend that we're, we're going to reschedule because she lives in this area mm-hmm. and she was and super she, understanding. She actually goes to the farmer's market all the time. Basically, like yeah, every weekend. So it's basically like it's up to us to go and reschedule. Yeah. And so I still have my appointment, which is going to be a win. Yes. You're speaking so it into existence. So it's my baseline frozen embryo transfer appointment. So she needs blood drawn, yes. ultrasound, stuff like that. So she hasn't eaten because we've been running around. So yeah. we're at the Buttermilk Bakery. On. Orlando Avenue. Teddy's asleep. James is chill. So Sarah's gonna run in and grab like a pastry or two, and then we're gonna drive over to Sierra. This is what I got. It's a key lime Danish blueberry muffin. Just classic. I know I got that for you. And I got this. Just a little bit more substantial for me. Tomatoes. And I think it's goat cheese. All right, we're at a park. Yeah, yeah not yeah. too far from CRM, and there's actually a house back there if you can see. They are Chicagoans or Chicago fans. I've seen the Chicago flag out before. I see the W Cubs flag out right now. They have like a street sign over on the patio because we used to live over here. I used to run past that house and I loved it. What are you doing? Teddy's just chilling on the slide. You like the slide? Yeah, yay! Whee! Yay, Teddy's a big kid in a swing! Woohoo! James is collecting sticks, as little kids do. Alright, change of plan. We were kind of done with the park, and then we had to get ourselves freshened up and everything, so we are now just strolling the streets. Hit him with the good news! Oh, everything came back great. So we officially start our transfer prep tonight. Yes. You gotta start taking steroids? <laughs> yes, it is a steroid. Take that tonight. And then tomorrow I start Letrozole, which basically just tells my body like an extra boost that it's ready to have a baby, get my, my lining nice and thick so it's nice and cozy for the embryo to get nice and snuggled in. I was on a different protocol for the Rita study, um, which was the medicine that we were given when we went through actual IVF, when we had an egg retrieval, and we were doing that all through the study. So it's a little bit different. Usually you'd be like, oh, I had success with this protocol. We're gonna do that. But because things are, we're not on the study anymore, we realized we did our fresh transfer four years ago, which is wild. Um, that things are a little bit different and my body's a little bit different and so this is the protocol that our doctor has come up for us so I'll do that for the next five days the letrozole continue the dexamethasone I think even further on and I'll have another ultrasound and blood work appointment next Monday so now is just the time for my body to get nice and ready I'm gonna drink my pomegranate juice I'm gonna do my stretches to get blood flow and just work on getting that lining Nice and cozy. We're having an easy peasy dinner tonight. It's good. We are having some buffalo cauliflower. This Banza brand mac and cheese. It is real cheese, but the pasta is made out of chickpeas and roasted potatoes. Easy peasy and delish. Six hours later. Hi, Evers. We haven't showed Evie in a while because we've been vlogging when we're out and about. There's your dose of Evie. How are ya? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? We ended up having a much more relaxed day than we thought. We didn't live stream. We didn't go to Universal like we thought. And we were planning on going to Universal before the soft opening of... Villain Con. Villain Con. Um, we're gonna end the night still being productive on a Saturday night. <laughs> Um, so I was going to edit, I'm going to fold some laundry, and then we'll see what I do after that. Yeah. I got to run 10 we miles don't, in the morning. Yeah, we have, that's our plans. We have some other plans for him. Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. Um, and it's exciting. I'm 
happy that we got a call from Serum today and we got news oh, yeah. today and everything. I don't know mm-hmm. if it's in the vlog. Because it, like, brought us back down. Mm-hmm. The Serum visit, like, was heavy today. Yeah. And waiting for those results and the impending, like, plan. Yeah. I was in the waiting room a long time and that was, it was, like Peter said, heavy. And obviously, like, it's so different going through this, like having the kids waiting in the car um, and having like a different sense of confidence, but it's just like different. Um, it's it's not like totally alleviated the like the yeah the stress and the excitement. Like it's when all of those emotions coexist. It's all the highs. It's a roller coaster. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like the anxiety's high. Mm-hmm. Emotion dry, excitement high, <laughs> right? Fear like high. I'm amped, like Nerds starting the medicine, high. but like we didn't know, like they could have said. I don't know if we mentioned this in, earlier, but like I still had the cyst that they saw last time, but it was collapsed. So like, but they but they still were like it could be producing estrogen, and they want everything like they call it a baseline appointment because they want you to start at a baseline because when you start taking the medicine. Just messing with the long right, so lines. like you, they don't want you to have a high level if they're going to add to it because that causes different things. So mm-hmm. it was good. It was good. It, but it wasn't like it wasn't good until it was good. Yeah. Um. So yeah, thanks for writing this out with us. And again, like if you have any questions, like it's kind of like different this time around because we really just have to prep for transfer. Um. But like details. Or anything um, support if you're also going through this. Yeah, you can call us or text us at seven seven three two zero two. Luna. Gosh, you're from Chicago. You get it. Alrighty, it's good to be home. Good to be home. Are we burning a Halloween candle? It's like Halloween adjacent. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me. It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.